basically uh, we are we are called at Pri Bali. Uh, so it's a rugby uh, association. So we had started in 2016. So back then, it was like uh, I was back from university, and then I was uh, uh, I was born here. So uh, I was born in Bali, and then I studied uh, until like my secondary school in Bali, and then I moved to Singapore for my high school, and then back to university in Indonesia. But then after my university, then I went back to Bali and trying to get something. Uh, going on and then it's like I was looking at uh, there's a club in Jimbaran which is a rugby club so not not many locals playing there it's like a uh, few expats and then uh, they are going around and having tour and then it's like I was a part of that but then I was uh, looking like uh, there is something uh, that, that needs to be like connected you know it's like uh, we are playing in rugby are uh, playing rugby in Bali but there's like not many locals playing so the benefits of the the games so basically if you, uh, you know it's a rugby is a beautiful game it's a, it's a contact games but then it's a rough game but that's it's a lot of value so if you use uh, you see uh free bali is like uh, we are part of like uh communities uh, based but then it's like we are a formally organization like under under the government uh we are having that uh we are like pushing that since 2016 so we are officially a government uh under the government uh, back in 2018. So uh, the group that uh, we are playing that uh, Olympics, uh, the National Olympics, so it's a national multi-event, so like all other sports also are playing. But rugby is uh, being played there for the first time uh, this year in Papua. If you see, uh, Papua is like the easternmost of uh, Indonesia. So we are representing Bali uh, as a province uh, and then we have the girls teams playing and then uh, in the end, yeah, we, we got bronze. But then the story behind was uh, it's like uh, you can see like uh, you see that uh, there's a uh, in a, in my, my uh, in the presentation there's a group of uh, locals who are already playing and then they are starting to get now it's a time for us to actually uh, spread uh, the values that we actually the rugby uh, has placed there's a lot of uh, opportunities a lot of like uh, you know it's like uh, for especially for girls that, that that we believe in as a community as a group of people who are loving the, the islands, who are born here, who are getting uh, the opportunities out uh, for actually to get the best players that we have around the islands. So from the, just a group of players, and then uh, we are doing like what we call it, like get into rugby program, actually a world rugby program. So it's like uh, we are learning that of, uh, from their, web, their websites. And not, not, not many is like, uh, how to say, guidance yet so for us, the organization in Bali. So we're just uh, learning by what, what, what uh, we have on, on the internet. And then we're trying to spread out uh, the games like over the islands. And then we are having a competition so so. And then in the end, uh, what we are trying to do also is like uh, to get uh, to go to the pond, uh, which is uh, the National Olympics in Papua, which is what we have set the goal in 2016 when we started the, the project. So uh, basically, why locals? Uh, if you see, it's like uh, in, in Bali, especially the girls, uh, there are not many like playing uh, playing the game. So and and most most of uh, Bali is actually uh, sports under the law is supposed to be uh, funded by the government. But then it's like uh, Bali government doesn't have that much uh, fun actually to go to sports, which is like uh, it's a bit a pity. But then it's like uh, what we see, sports is cheap part of the hopes for the future where, where like uh, it's, it's basically uh, where you get the need uh, to play sports basically at the high level you need the IQ you need education you need you also the, the best uh, like uh, body that you have to play the game so it's a, it's a, it's a contact game and then it's also uh, if, uh, contact games also like parts like uh, karate uh, judo that's a contact game but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a like individual but then with rugby they can play contact games as a team so basically, that's the difference. That's the value that, that we want to uh, to spread uh, to, to all the Balinese. Um, and then it's like uh, from if you see, just part of the few uh, they get uh, get the players from uh, around the islands, like few of the agencies. So we we are not developing rugby in Denpasar, in Changu area, but then we're developing on the remote area, which is like if you see, it's like a Beleleng in the north part, which is like two hours from here. Kupuan, which is uh, it's a beautiful uh, village in Tabanan. We are holding uh, the competition last year, 2019 actually, a big competition there. And then we, we have like a sport tourism kind of thingy going on there. 
and then we are spreading out in Karangasem. Uh, so basically, that uh, we are not spreading out to the to 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 the, to the capital. So so uh, so we are spreading out like uh, to the remote island, uh, to the remote places, like which is like, and then we get the those players interested, and then get them into our program, and then we are training them. We get them developing any until uh to set our goals to play for the national championship. Uh, so, uh, basically, why locals is uh yeah, basically it's like it's uh it's a sports. It's on the island. So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. First, it was uh, paying by most of the experts, but then it's like you see like this game needs to be played by the local uh, locals. The value of rugby needs to be also uh spread the locals, which is like all the integrity, uh, solidarity, all the stuff. Uh, so basically, that's that's why we started the program. And then for hopes, basically, with all our uh, starting to uh, introducing rugby to all the regencies, basically in the remote areas, we have communities. So uh, uh, we are also as a as a organization also concerned, and then we are trying to collaborate with all uh, uh, the other organizations is uh, on the islands. So if you see if, uh, if you see it's like rugby is uh, played uh, on the uh, outside arms like uh, outdoors so most of the sports in bali actually played indoors so that's like badminton futsal kind of stuff so basically we are trying to get them out uh, on the nature so on the field on the on, on the field so basically that's where we want uh, as an organization like for them to value the nature so before training we are trying to always like get them clean up all the field so basically getting the awareness on the all the important issues that also mix with uh, with what we have in the development of rugby as a sports so we are getting them into uh, as we say it's like uh, there's a we are volunteering to sungai also so it's one of the clubs in tabanan so those kind of things like we need also to spread the message through the sports which is like what uh, in our parts is rugby so we also have like in the last year uh, actually i adrian is also part of the uh, the communities like hope to fam so with uh with all our uh, network around the islands uh, where we are introducing rugby so we are already seeing like uh, what uh, the impact of like covid has so uh when we had the funding actually from all the uh, uh donations uh me and some of the rugby community also spreading out uh, all the uh rice uh, all the stuff so so we had the networks and then we can spread uh the helps uh, the donations through our networks of uh, people who are already playing rugby uh, on the remote island, uh, remote places around the Bali. So that's actually part of why uh, rugby and uh, introducing this uh, as an organization is important for us, and then why we want to spread it out more uh, around the islands. Uh, but then uh, there's challenges basically it's like uh, for us in the future. Uh, we have the national championship coming up uh, again uh, in another four years. So it's like kind of Olympics. So uh, we are building up a team again. So uh, we are building up from zero. We are trying to get like uh, a new goal. So basically that's uh, the goal uh, that we have in 2025, that means. So we are trying to redo it, what we do in 2016, which is like having a group of uh, locals who are volunteering and then uh, trying to get them like trained. And then spreading out uh, the games again, uh, again, like from all the five regencies that we have. Now we want to spread out more to like Jembrana, uh, to Bangli, and then uh, for Kulungkung, and then also if uh, it's the Buleleng, we have the western part. Now we want to go to the eastern part, maybe near the Tejekula or uh, Gunung Agung, which is like uh, it's quite a challenging as like as a transport for, uh, stuff, and then it's like time, and then but then it's like it's a voluntary stuff, so. Uh, basically, uh, we want like uh, to invite you guys. If like, uh, if you have like, uh, any idea of any help that, that you can, you can come in. Like, uh, pro and anything that, that you 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 want to like, uh, we can we can talk. And then we have a, uh, uh, also social media in Instagram, which is like what I want to show a letter of what we're doing. Uh, so, uh, the next one is like. I tried to get the this is our Instagram. So basically, if you guys see it, uh it's called Free Bali.
So we are doing the yeah, we are redoing all the stuff. So uh, going to schools, having the competitions. Uh, this is uh, Bali teams actually one of the favorite teams. Like and when we go to the Papua, so all the local people even in Papua is like uh, they're supporting Bali, not supporting the Papua teams at the time. So if you see there's a the YouTube. So basically our girls are really uh, how to say uh, as a as a fighter, it's rugby, so it's because it's a contact game. So you should see they are all beautiful, but then on the, on the field they really fight really hard. If you see that, and the YouTube also, if you can find also of how they play. Uh, but then also uh, we had them like uh, this is uh, one of our trainers also uh, part of the rugby teams that are playing the national championship, getting to schools, introducing, and then like get them like uh, how to say confidence up uh, because they are not they are they are just like maybe uh. High school students, and then they are trying to be like a teacher trainer. So it's like those are all things that, that, that we want to spread out. So this is a, a picture of uh, the girls getting the bronze. Uh, it's a beautiful field in Papua, uh, funded by the government. So basically, uh, and then uh, this is what important things they want. So as a, this is in uh, in rugby, uh, what if, uh, the uh, famous one is a haka in from New Zealand, right? That's a uh, war dance so it's a part of us uh, getting the culture uh, up so basically uh, we have our own version of haka in Balinese uh, so it's a mantra also uh, made by one of the other coaches so basically uh, I, I don't know if you can uh, uh, sorry, Balinese. Yeah, so that's, that's how yeah so that's how we actually want also to spread our culture uh, get the uh, and rugby's maybe introducing us to, to, to uh, one of another way to actually uh, uh, getting uh, all other people to know our culture in Hakka. So, and then these are our girls, uh, like Amita is from Tabanan, uh, uh, Santika is from uh, Batu, if you, Batu, a small village. If you can contact us and then you see uh, uh, where she lives, it's really near the Tunyan where all the yeah, beautiful people, but it's like really remote. And then there's uh Sukma, which is from Gyanyar. Uh, yes, around all, all around our island. Then we, and then we gather them and then make us uh, the past point. And then we want to do it, redo it again, uh, getting more uh, uh people and then uh, reaching more people from the remote and then getting the best uh athletes to play in the in next four years. So, but then that's that's the next process that we are we are doing. Uh. Yeah, this is a few of coaches. So, so collaboration of uh, the local coaches, and then we have uh, uh, New Zealand coaches also who are in Bali at uh, in Sanur. He's helping us uh, uh, in the team. Uh, yeah, basically, if you see, uh, this is also an opportunity actually for the kids uh, to play a uh, few of uh, foreigners. So, it's uh, how to say to get them know each other and then playing the game, the same game. Uh, basically, that's, that's, that's uh, what we want uh, to get uh, our Balinese people to know from since young and then uh, get the competition going and let's, we can continue from there. Uh, but yeah, this is how, how actually we spread on uh, just uh, one of our social media. Uh, so yeah, More, uh, our concern now is actually uh, girls so because it's, why, why girls? Because it's like uh, in Bali, especially some of our, our at least our young of uh, our teams, basically they are, how to say, the backbone of the, uh, of the family. So they are working, uh, some like uh, doing, selling a uh, fried banana at home, it's like are you, and then some still uh, doing on the rice field. So girls, basically, so, uh, they, are, they, 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 they can work, but then with, with rugby, they, they, go, they, they, they know rugby, they play rugby, and then they got chosen into the teams. Now they are doing things that they love, uh, but then still uh, they're having, uh, because it's government funded also for the teams, for the, only for the pawn teams. Uh, yeah, yeah they, can, they, can, they can have something for the family. But, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, that's, yeah amazing era i mean this is like uh, so motivating when i look at these pictures and these happy girls and like women actually 
like um, playing uh, like a, actually a tough sport. I mean, rugby is a yes. tough sport, isn't it? Yes, right? it's tough sport. Yes. I mean, you you are hurt. You are hurt yourself. You are hurt each others. I mean, like you're not protected, correct? This is yeah. This, yeah. yeah. So like uh, we we have a question here from the audience, um, and um, like so we are touching each other. So. Are the other girls or the, are these young women are they hurting each other? How is this like is this a risky sport or like how is it like perceived uh, uh, with women? Because you got to be tough to do this on the field. Yep. Get out there, get out there and like get, fight for the ball. <laughs> like get in with the whole body, you know. Like, and and uh, what's your experience and and how 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 are the the young girls uh, like uh, taking the, those challenges. I mean, if I see the pictures here, like yeah, yeah. Con continue to share. It's, it's interesting. Also, screen again. Yeah, it's interesting. So, so how are these like young women? How are they taking that that risky uh, topic and this like kind of tough uh, um, like, interaction on the on the sports ground? Yeah, uh, that's a that's a good question. Basically, that's one of the challenges that we start. That we have at the start, basically, uh, but then it's like uh, from what we learn, like all sports actually has risk, basically. Uh, so just how we manage the risk, uh, in in the end. So basically, uh, with rugby's uh, contact games, it's uh, physical games, but then it's like um, that's why it's like all our trainers are basically really trained on how we introduce introducing these 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 sports. So technically, they need to be correct. So that's why discipline needs to be like uh, one of the key that we, that we are teaching all the girls or, or even, even, even the boys basically uh, in, in, in doing rugby. So basically uh, the mindset will be first uh, for us uh, discipline. And then with discipline, you are having to, how to say, minimize the risk of injuries. And then in the end, you can have fun. So basically that's how uh, there's a change of mindset that, that we want. From, from all the Balinese people of, of being of like looking at sports basically it's like all the sports actually has the same risk basically if, uh, with uh even with uh, uh karate pencet silat or even judo they all have the same risk but that's like how we manage it so that's what uh, that's the mindset that we already, that we are spreading to the girls uh, especially especially if uh, they have uh, uh how to prepare for games how to be Semi-professionals, not professional yet, mature. Yeah, so basically, uh, yeah, that's 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 uh how we actually uh manage uh those kind of like yeah issues that we uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that sounds like uh you're not actually having like major injuries happening to the to the ladies, right? So yeah, yeah. They are they are they're taking risk, uh, like self responsibility. Which uh, um, what I'm hearing uh, is this like uh, uh, something you teach them to be more responsible for themselves on the, on the sports field and and playing a tough sport but not hurting anybody. Like how do you do that? It sounds quite uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, that's that's what what uh, we call like uh, they they learn these things in sports. Basically, it's like. Uh, disciplines like looking uh, for what is like even like the girls that we have uh, here are training every day uh, because uh, it's a as I say sports in general is supposed to be funded by the government but the government in the end has uh, only small funding so the only supports those are playing for the maybe it's representing Bali as the same uh, in the part but that uh, these girls training every day they're having to look out uh, for their body they are having like in the morning they are wake up at five doing yoga so that's how they uh, we manage the risk yeah doing yoga everybody uh maybe if you contact us we can uh yeah you, you uh we can have uh, you guys like uh maybe interview one of the girls and then see what the routine that they have uh and then yoga they are doing uh some stuff uh, like warm up in the morning before they go to train to the field uh which is like 20 minutes from uh, our training center uh uh at seven and then yeah they, they, they are having routine and then they're having to like see uh listen to their body like if they are they are need of a rest they know uh when when to stop and then when when to actually 
go, uh, go against like yeah those kind of things uh they are learning it in sports they are learning it in rugby which is new new for them new experience uh for those girls who are actually some of that not playing and uh, not playing sports before this just started when they they knew rugby so basically uh it's uh it's the delight for us actually uh to get them uh that, that, that experience and then yeah in the end yeah. uh they manage it well basically so like what i'm hearing is like really like uh, catching my interest uh, because i'm hearing that you are actually asking like like uh, teach them uh, get up early and do yoga in the morning and be responsible uh, for for their their own health uh, yeah. beyond the, yeah. the rugby playgrounds uh, so so that's already going in to like uh, personal development, like supporting the individual growth of the women. I mean, like you're doing more than rugby, Vera, right? Uh, this is uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, so you're supporting the ladies in their personal journey, like becoming women uh, and um, uh, being responsible for themselves. That's what I'm hearing. Like, yeah. uh, uh, could you elaborate on that part of it a little bit? Yeah, uh, basically rugby is that we can divide it into two. Like we have mass, mass uh, uh, how to say, uh, promoting rugby. But then in the end, like our own goals will be to have a really good team of rugby players representing Bali. So uh, there, are, uh, there are two sides. Basically, uh, one of the sides that, that we are talking now will be like the, the, the elite squad that, that we, we are uh, building in the past year for the national championship. So. On that part, a uh, personal journey, like from the mass promotion, which is like where we, we are spreading the games, having competition, select the best players, and then get them together into one team, and then doing the, yeah, it's a personal journey, it's a personal uh, development yeah. for them. Yes, from the start. So basically when they got selected, uh, we, we, we get them uh, an expectation, we, are, we set them the goals, uh, we're trying to teach them how to be like, I say, as a semi-professional athletes, uh, in which uh, us also, it's like, a uh, few of our coaches also is actually uh, coaching sports, other sports, which is like, we are collaborating with other sports. Uh, we are talking with uh, experts. Uh, we are, oh yeah, it's, 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 it's a, a long, a long journey. Yeah. I mean, in the like, end, here... uh, what we want is actually this goes to I'm hearing that that's a kind of a community building already of uh, like uh, in, in your in your area of rugby, but also then reaching out to other like sport areas uh, where you where you really create um, uh, like an opportunity for 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 young women uh, to to go on a totally different journey with you guys and in these teams like. To, to, to leave their communities, like where they grow up in, but then also go into a sport community, which broaden their sense, not only here in Bali, but also then going beyond the, the, the island uh, in the local area, but also then with the vision uh, to, to go internationally one day. So um, uh, th that sounds really amazing, uh, Vera. Like, if if I would now have like uh, friends who have daughters, uh, like how would I uh, uh, um, like have them contact you, like to get to be part? Because this is an amazing initiative you're doing here. How how could they get in contact with you? Uh, so basically, uh, as you say, we have uh, now we are building uh, in. Uh, we have uh, in the past we have five regencies, so in each regencies they should be have uh, they should have club. So basically, training in the clubs and then we have competition going. Uh, next year we are planning uh, of having a provincial championship, a provincial like uh, Olympics. So rugby is also being played there. So getting into clubs in the those areas basically the nearest one will be like a great uh, start actually. And then they get them into competition. We're having a competition actually, a festival uh, next week uh, on the 19th in Karangasam, uh, being played uh, rugby touch, rugby sevens, uh, tens uh, uh, from all the nine regencies representing. So they are now representing their regencies uh, in, in, in Bali. So uh, basically, that's, that's, that's how we actually wanted to re redo what we did in 2019. 
So them get into the their regencies, playing for their regencies, and then get selected to the uh, Bali team. And then in the 2024, our goal will be to, to get gold in the in Aceh, which is uh, in another part of the Olympics, National Olympics in 2024. Super. I wish you the best luck for that endeavor. And Thank uh, you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really thrilled. I, I've yeah. never heard uh, uh, this kind of uh, interesting venture for, for young women to have the opportunity uh, not only to be active on the sports ground and build community within uh, their like becoming a woman, but also like really going on a personal journey here with, uh, with more than, than rugby, uh, like a professional coach, like uh, yoga, like teachings and, and, and other endeavors, I guess so. Uh, so thank you for sharing that with us here in um, yeah. uh, Vera today. Really amazing. Yeah. I've just posted um, a, the Instagram uh, a, a handle in the chat. It's Pruri underscore Bali on Instagram. So please follow these guys. I just did that here. That we are, can, can increase the followers here. We have now we have 1,546 followers. So, so if you go, go on your Instagram accounts and, and share that. Yeah. So, so we will support the teams here and, um, and then stay in contact with Vera and his project. So um, thank you. Um, uh, awesome talk uh, for sharing here with us uh, in this uh, World Bali Forum. Vera, thank you.